Are you about to do a really good, bad intro? Do you hate it when your resin gets bent out of shape? Yes. Well, maybe you can turn that frown upside down and bend it into a bent resin lamp. Wow, that's a good idea. We should make a video about that. We should do that. We're going to do that today. Hey guys, we're Evan and Caitlin. Today we're going to be taking flat sheets of resin, bending them into a... a... Into a circular tubular lamp. And then slapping some LEDs in there and... Hence, that's how it, that's how it becomes a lamp. <laughs> <laughs> So there's actually a very narrow window of time between resin being liquidy and resin being solid that we've noticed we can kind of bend some of the, the spillover we get when we're letting our projects cure. So we thought, why don't we harness that bendable power and try to actually form this half cured resin into something interesting. Today we're actually going to be jumping straight to the full scale test because resin cures at different rates depending on the volume of the pour. So if we did a small scale test and figured out how to bend that. It, it might not really be indicative. Yeah, so we're, today we're just, going to, we're just going to go straight into the final thing. <laughs> Wish us luck. All right, recording here. Let me get the top down recording. Perfect. Does that mean? It's time. Resin time? Resin time. <laughs> do, 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 resin time. <laughs> I like you to do a shimmy dance this time. I gotta mix it up. <laughs> you might notice these amazing... Lasagna pans. <laughs> I was wanting to do the reveal. They're lasagna pans. <laughs> yeah. But it's it's perfect for this. It's the biggest rectangular silicone wool we can yeah. find. Sorry, I didn't want to move it while we talked because it's so loud. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> I'm gonna have to edit that out. <laughs> Chaos. All right, um, what's your strategy? Do you want to start pouring into your cups? Well, yeah, I do that every time. <laughs> I, guess you could call it, I guess you could call it a strategy. <laughs> so my inspiration is a similar type of lamp. And that is, you know those like Himalayan salt lamp things with the mm -hmm. pink salt? I kind of want to go for, I kind of want to go for, I want to go for those types of colors, I think. So kind of like a rose quartz Himalayan salt type color. My plan is uh, kind of inspired by our standing treadmill desk. Mm -hmm. I liked some of the looks that we we're going for there. It's kind of like an opalescent galaxy type look. Well, we're also both going to be mixing in a little bit of glow powder. Yeah. <laughs> By the way. We're 14 minutes after we God, mixed. Jeez. I know. Okay. Good thing we're using slow cure. Good thing. It's going to be like a pinkish to white gradient. Oh my gosh, is that all the white you have? Yep. <laughs> I'm also going to start with my like white base. Whole thing kind of swirly. Oh, you know one thing I just realized? We didn't split the resin equally between the two of us. I think you might have more resin. Uh-oh. So don't use all of your colors. Don't use all of all of my colors. Don't use all of all of your colors. Okay. Um. <laughs> okay, guys. Big news, though. We actually remember to level it. Thank you, everyone, for all the encouragement along the way. I'm gonna do kind of purpley at the bottom and blue at the top. Ooh. Laying it down thick. Just don't go too thick, because again, remember, I need to like take some uh, of your colors. I think that I'm gonna be finishing mine pretty soon. Okay, yeah. And I can mix it. you up some more. I think that like my masterpiece is almost done. It looks so it looks so bad. I'm gonna heat gonna it's gonna look beautiful soon. And you did some glow in the dark too? Yeah. Yay! All right, I'm gonna let that sit for a while. But in general, I'm okay with it. I'm gonna think, learn from the lessons cool. of past Evan and Caitlin and not mess with it too much. The solution isn't always add more resin. It's also kind of hard to tell how your colors look because of this red backing. Yeah, like it took it look totally different. I might have gone a little heavy with the glitter at the end here. <laughs> wow, is mine gonna be more subtle than Caitlin's? <laughs> okay, I don't think I've gone too thick yet. I have no clue how thick mine is. Gone through both my gloves. Can you patter me? Oh, don't, not, in, not into the resin. I'm starting to feel a little bit of the time pressure. 
This is looking pretty good though. It's pretty good, pretty good. I feel, I think I feel good about this. I don't want to- Overwork it? I think, let's let it, let's let it um, sit for some unknown amount of time, actually. We're not exactly sure when it's gonna get to the point of being bendy. My guess is that it's at an hour and 30 minutes. Yeah, sounds good. So uh, we'll, we'll come back and poke it in a bit. We'll see you guys soon. Bye. Okay, so it's been, uh, well, 99 minutes and then it stopped recording, but a, a little more than an hour and a half. <laughs> and we're, we left some tester resin in the bucket to uh, poke. Poke. Oh, wait. Oh, Oh, no, it's so pretty indentable. But like, so it, it, you, you can see that it's like kind of hard and kind of soft. I feel like we would, I kind of feel like we would damage it, but I feel like I don't want to wait too much longer. Yeah, like, look at that. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, so I think a little bit longer. A little bit longer, because it's still kind of stringing. Yeah, I want to, I want to, this is, this is too malleable still. Yeah, here, leave some of it untouched so that we can Sorry. mess with it again. It's, it's very fun to play with. Yeah. Okay, so we'll check back in again soon. It's been about 26 more minutes, time to do our next pokey so test. So about two hours in total. Okay, so it's oh, still... It's still dentable. But it's not as sticky. Oh. It's not stringy. I think, I think okay. there's a time. Yeah, I'm down to try. I have more fear of going too long and snapping it than I do of like putting a dent in it. So yeah. I feel pretty good. All right, let, let's bring you guys in on some strategy that we've... Strategy. ...had. <laughs> We're gonna, uh, in order to help bend things, we cut this aluminum flashing. We're gonna make an aluminum flashing sandwich with the resin in the middle. That way we can press up against the inside of the resin, press up against the outside of the resin, secure it with tape, but we won't leave marks from doing any of those things. Oh so, yeah, th this up here, this one's still gooey. Well, that was uh, like a thin drop. That's a thin one, yeah. So this, this down here. Oh, whoa. Oh. I don't think... Th th this isn't... Look at that. Whoa. No, okay. that's... Oh, that, I don't do it too much. Oh, that, that makes me nervous. That's a saggy lasagna. <laughs> okay, maybe I, I... You know, this is why we said in the beginning we can't fully do a test. That was at the right state. This is definitely not. Yeah, so. but, but also it's like <laughs> this... <laughs> this stuff right here, it was a conglomeration of all of the stuff that was in the leftover cup that we just poured out, that leftover cup might have been a bigger volume and it might have kicked faster, farther, oh, yeah. putting it ahead of where this is. Yeah, this is uh Oh, don't poke it, Oh, Well, I mean, if you're gonna poke it, I'm gonna film it. <laughs> oh, wait, yeah, look at that, look at that. It demolds. Oh, no. Over no. here, it was demolding okay. But that's just, it's just, Okay. don't wanna push it. We'll be back. All right. Later, hopefully, <laughs> not too much later. All right. Nope. Okay, so now it, we've waited two and a half hours. Now, this is still kind of bendy, but it feels a little bit more solid. And then see if I can just... Okay, so it's, it's releasing. Oh, look at that. Oh, this is weird. Oh, I like it. And it's also wrong. Oh, gosh. Oh, this is so weird. It's like resin dough. Oh my gosh. Oh, I think that's great though. Yeah. I think in general, good. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So I'm gonna put one down, flip it. Huh. Um, it kind of stuck. Is that bad? It's a little bad. Like, would it fuse to the metal? I don't know, it kind of fused a little bit. We could try parchment paper, which we know it releases from. Yes, 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 Line let's do that. Okay, I'm yeah, gonna go yeah, get yeah, some. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna massage the corners and keep them straight. Okay. You massage, I'll get the thing. <laughs> oh man, yeah, if you're having to like peel it off, I definitely think it's good that we're adding the parchment paper. Yeah, and that like doing that peeling left some like little imperfection marks on here. I kind of like wanna 
Yeah, like shore up the edges a little bit. Yeah, because they kind of got a little bit wobbly. Now be careful, your gloves are leaving a significant texture. Oh my gosh! Because they have dots. Everywhere. Oh, I need to switch gloves. Oh no. Is that what, is that what? I think that's what the texture is. Oh no. You know, um, just like natural rocks in the uh, environment have Maybe the a other side pattern on them. Maybe the other side's less textured. This side is also has bad things. Okay, lessons learned. We probably could have waited a little bit longer. Well, as an experiment, we can wait on mine a little bit. I'm trying to like I'm trying to hide my failures. Oh well. I think it's okay. I think it's I fine. think it's okay. So I think I'm just roll it. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, give me a, can you give me a like one by two? A one by two. To add some spacing. Yeah, 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 perfect. All right, take me up. Yep, yep, yep. I can do a middle. I think I might add one more spacer to offset it in just some other ways. Make sure you don't stab anything. So the reason we're doing this, we never really explained the design, <laughs> is we want, if you're looking at it from the top down, we don't want it to be a perfect circle. We want there to be an overlap of the two sides and a little bit of a gap in between them. So it's like a circle that loops back over itself. Yeah. And that'll help us hide the LEDs and avoid us having to try to get like a perfect seam. Yeah, my, my, my main <laughs> worry about this is that inside this, it's skewed. This is, this is not the best down there. It's like kind of squeezing out more on one side than the other. This got like beat up and destroyed. Ooh, ooh. I know. I could try cutting it flat. Yeah, that might be your best bet. Like right now? Yeah, okay. right now. <laughs> I think this is the best option. Yeah, while, while it's all nice. While and... it's still flexy. On the plus side, this is very satisfying. <laughs> okay, so this is how mine turned out. The resin starts right here, it spirals around, and it stops right there. I'm actually gonna modify just a little bit. I'm gonna move this. Yeah, that's a like nice those, profile. Those, yeah, 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 I like that shape. I think overall, did we go on the early end? I think so. I feel like I could have rolled this up into a ball, moved it around like silly putty or Like clay. a piece of white bread. Well, I could have rolled it up into a rod. So now that you've explained all the different things you could roll it up into, <laughs> <laughs> how does that change how we're gonna do mine? I think we should wait if, if for no other reason than to experiment a bit, yeah. but I don't wanna wait too much longer. I'm thinking 20 more minutes and then we like, we'll check back in soon. Yeah. All right, so it's been about 30 minutes since I finished bending mine. Three and a half hours since we initially mixed this resin. Okay. <gasps> I know, I know, it's like kind of hard. It's kind of like really hard. <laughs> That's why I was like kind oh of my like gosh. in a rush. Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna help pop it out for you. <laughs> ah! <laughs> it's like, it's like time. Wait, so, so wait, let's not rush too, 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 too much, too much. Let's, let, let's cut this with a scissor, let's get a clean bottom for both of these, so then you don't hit the same air that I had. Because now that it is out, it is actually still bendable. I think this is actually kind of perfect. Okay. It's significantly harder. Yeah. But I think it's okay. That was 20 minutes from the time you ended, and at the end of yours, you were cutting it still. Yeah. And it was quite doughy. Quite okay. doughy. So we only really need one straight edge, right? One straight edge, but on both sheets. <laughs> Sorry, it's like, it's all of a sudden, go time, guys. It's go time. Okay. So like, if you line all of those up. Yeah, the top here, is I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna help with my hands. Get out of here. It's bending. It's bending. Yeah, 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 yeah. We don't want all the bend to be in just one place. Yeah, because right now it's like all right here. All right, I'm gonna start folding this in. Oh, that looks cool. Oh, that, oh it, does, it does look good. Okay, let, 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 me, let me try bending this. Okay, this thing. one, hold on, but it's not protected. Uh-oh. Because it slid, slid over so much. Oh my gosh, I'm so sweaty. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Please don't stop, please don't stop. <laughs> it's, it's, it's going, it's going though. 
It's looking good. It's looking really good. Now that we have... Oh no. <laughs> I don't want to break it. I know. Right here, I'll hold it. See if it's... See if it spirals enough. No? Looks bad. <laughs> Looks bad? Oh yeah. Oh, that's not enough. Yours is thicker. Oh, yours is way thicker. Mine is way thicker. We have overlap. We have overlap now. Go ahead and get the spacers. Okay, hold on. Whew. There is a window. Little spacer, big spacer. <laughs> that was one funky burrito. <laughs> nice, one at the top and we're done. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, this has been exciting. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I, I thought you were like. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll see okay. you. We'll see you in about a day for when we unwrap these and install the LEDs. Thanks, Bye. Thanks for carrying this one, love. Thanks for helping me with your, your string. Okay, bye guys. And now, now cooking, cooking with Evan, Evan and, and Caitlin. Caitlin. Today's video is brought to you by HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. <laughs> that was so corny. <laughs> I, I kind of did, no, no, me, me. I kind of did like a little hip pose. Ooh, a little fancy. Okay guys, I have an admission to make about this meal. When I first heard about it, I wasn't fully convinced. Tacos, I love. Amazing. But throw a kiwi in there? I oh, was very suspicious. Or but I mean, you don't just like <laughs> put a whole kiwi in the taco. Guys, it's delicious. It's so good. And that's one of the things that I love about HelloFresh. Look, we, we, we all live busy lives. And it <clears> takes <throat> a lot of time and effort to come up with different meals that mm -hmm. you wouldn't normally make. And each week you get to select from over 20 different chef curated recipes from HelloFresh. Ooh, careful. I have a knife in my hand. <laughs> you want to startle me. Is not that, not that, is that I would a threat? stab you, no. <laughs> they send you everything pre-proportioned and there's very little food waste. Also, like partially cured resin, HelloFresh is very flexible because you can skip a meal if you need to add tasty extras like cookie dough or garlic bread. Why didn't we add cookie dough? We definitely should have added cookie dough. Go to HelloFresh.com and use code EvanCaitlin10 for 10 free meals, including free shipping. HelloFresh.com, EvanCaitlin10, 10 free meals. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Is Evan and Caitlin approved? I shouldn't talk with my mouth full. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, we're already going. Oh. Okay. Well, it's been 47 hours since we last saw you guys, and I think we're ready to demold these. I have a, I have a pretty good feeling about this. In general. Whoa, whoa. whoa it's demolding itself. <laughs> whoa. Wow. Wow. Oh my gosh, that's actually like legit beautiful. Whoa. Oh, wow. Whoa, love, that looks so cool. Oh my gosh. Which side? Nope, that's, that's, <laughs> that's down. <laughs> that's, that's definitely down. Yeah, this is the side you cut flat. It did get like pinched skinnier in that area right there. But overall, look at the outside. Especially like if you're far away and you don't look at the overlapped part, like if we put the overlap in the back, then what a nice tube you have. <laughs> that will look very pretty lit up. I think it's time for you. Ooh. Oh, 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 look at that. Mine didn't seem to get the ends squished. <laughs> yeah, because yours is already like so dang rigid. Yeah. <laughs> It's, we really secured things in there. We really did. It's tight. Okay, it's coming. Oh, that looks so cool. Oh! Dang! Dang! Wow! Okay, I like okay. there's more. Even though it was kind of stressful and a lot harder to bend. Oh, it's this. The, 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 the surface finish is perfect. The surface finish is perfect. So. Yeah, so I guess like depending on your application, you can go with a more rigid approach or you can go with the floppy. I think if you're gonna have to manhandle a little lot, like we did, rigid. If you're draping it over a bowl and you're just gonna let it kind of melt over and form a shape. But the applications here are just, there are a lot of applications. We have <laughs> of, bent, of bent resin. Of bent resin. Well, yeah. So the next step is kind of the easiest part, and that is adding the LEDs. Did you want to say something about them? 
Oh yeah, they're RGBW. So they're like, the white light is actually white and you can still change the colors and it's just USB powered. So you can plug it in anywhere. Yeah. Smart. So I think we'll just go into montage mode, add these and we'll show you the final <laughs> in a minute. Is this like anticlimactic montage mode? Cause all we're doing is just like. We can make it like really epic. Yeah. No, you're messing up. <laughs> okay. Right. Ready for them to turn on? Yes, I am. Ta da! Oh, I whacked you, sorry. <laughs> Ta da! Ah! <laughs> Now let's turn them into party mode. Yeah. Party. <laughs> I like it. I like it too. I, like I think it it's lot. really cool. We also want to show you guys what it looks like in the dark and in the glow in the dark mode. Dark. Ah, very cool. Ooh. Now this is probably more like an accent light than a uh, light up a dark room light, but right, yeah. now I'm gonna turn off all the rest of the lights. For the glow in the dark. Yeah. Oh. Creepy time. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, wow, there's cool bands in front of it and everything. Ooh. Ooh. Yay. <laughs> Yay. I think this is really cool. I'm, I'm glad we tried this experimentation. Well, like, like you mentioned earlier, like it's not just about these lamps themselves. It's about but the possibility. The possibilities, the bending, bending resin. resin. All right, guys, well, I hope something in today's video resonated with you guys, and we'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye. <laughs> Check out our gaming channel. Subscribe. <laughs> the things. Bye. <laughs> print a tether. How do I do that? Oh, that's so cool. 3D printing. I can print it with my backpack. Oh, what? Print. <laughs> Gather. Resin. Resin <laughs> to print canisters. Caitlin, look. Resin. Resin time. Resin time.